Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time tuning in, welcome to All Things Delicious. Today on Brave Belly, join me at the table as I try these delicious Pinoy snacks. Without further ado, let's get the show on the road. So now that you guys see everything that I have here, I'm gonna make some room and we're gonna get right into it. So these Filipino snacks apparently are some of the most uh, famous snacks in the Philippines. I've never tried any of these ever in my life. So I'm super excited to get into it. We have all different types of their crackers. We have chocolates. We have little cakes. We have a bunch of different chips as you can see. A little bit of this and that. So we're just going to jump right in. First, let's try these. The Peewee Sizzling Bacon Flavored Snack. All right, this is how it looks. I'm gonna make a little more room. All right, you guys gotta bear with me with the uh, crunchy noises and the, you know, the little crackling noises of the bags, but all right, here we go. So this is Peewee Sizzling uh, Barbecue Flavored Snack. Look at Peewee over there, I guess. That's their little mascot. Okay, and what does it say? It takes two to have fun. It's Peewee and you. Peewee, the crunchy snack, relished with the right blend of spicy barbecue and saltiness for anytime, anywhere snacks. All right, let's go. Ooh, definitely smells like pork. Very good. It tastes like a pork, mm, not really like a pork rind. It's like a chip and a pork rind mixed together and they're dense, not like typical pork rinds. Here's the up close. Very good. It's like a chip pork rind, not a regular plain pork rind. Mm, very good, very salty and flavorful. Definitely has more of like an exotic flavor, not like a typical pork rind. Mm. Guys, we have so much, we're gonna try everything. Very good. It's actually, in my opinion, more delicious than a pork rind. And the cool thing about it, it doesn't look like pig skin, you know? So they're friendly for anybody, everybody, even the squeamish. Mm, good stuff. All right, now we're gonna try the ribbed cracklings in old fashioned salt and vinegar. So this is this is along the same kind of genre, okay? Crackling. So, okay. Display and store in a cool dry place away from direct sunlight and heart, uh, high temperature. Consume immediately after opening. Prolonged exposure to air may affect crispiness. And this is fresh. It expires in 2024. Anyway, Oishi's the brand. That's how it looks. Let's go. Wow, these are sealed intensely. Ooh, that's a strong vinegar. Literally, it like cleared my nostrils up as soon as it hit me. And check these out. And this is how they look. See, these are ribbed. Super intense vinegar smell. Wow. These are also like crackers or chips. They're not like regular pork. So good. Probably phenomenal with beer. Mmm, really, really good. Very strong vinegar flavor. Wow, I like these more than the ones previous. That vinegar is a good contrast with like the oiliness. Really, really good. Mmm. We're gonna keep going, guys. All right. Now we have Mr. Chips. Jack and Jill is the name of the brand. Nacho cheese flavored corn chips. Okay. Mm. 
product of the Philippines. That's how this looks. Now I want you guys to leave comments down below. Tell me which one of these are going to be your favorite, which are, are the most popular. I want to hear backstories about these chips and about all these snacks. Okay, okay guys. And also just keep in mind, the reason why I'm trying all this is because my viewers requested that I try it. And I love tasting exotic foods, foods I've never tried. That's why I'm doing it. Because people have actually messaged me and told me, you know, in the comments, commented, oh, he's taking advantage of, you know, the Filipino audience, you know, because he knows that, basically implying that I know that they're going to watch it. And first of all, who wouldn't do that? You know, who wouldn't want to showcase foods that their audience actually watches? That's the whole point. I want to entertain my viewers. Secondly, the reason why I do it is because my um, my subscribers ash actually asked me to, to film this type of content. So that's why I do it. Uh, I do it because that's what my audience likes, okay? So anyway, that's the last time I'll ever address that because it has been mentioned a few times. And so I, I just felt like I definitely needed to share because I want to be transparent and I want everybody to know the reason why I do this is uh, so my audience is entertained. Anyway, let's go. Nacho. Nacho cheese flavored corn. Syrup. Let's go. So this is how they look. I kind of opened them wrong, but it is what it is. Now these are really small. Okay, they're way smaller than Doritos. They taste like corn chips with that natural flavor. Mm. Very good. Oh yeah. Yeah, for my American audience, this is very similar to American corn chips. The only difference is they're thinner, so they have they're more pleasant, I would say, personally. See how thin they are? They're like a lighter crunch. Very, very good. Also, I bet these are phenomenal with beer. Mm. Good stuff. And sorry, guys, about the little, you know, rant that I gave. But, and I figured at first I wouldn't address being, you know... Um, people like mentioning, oh, you know, the Pinoys, you know, why do they always watch Americans eat stuff like this? And it's like, why not? You know, if, if Pinoys enjoy watching that type of stuff, well, why not? You know, it makes total sense. I'm glad I have an audience that, that likes this type of stuff and, um, oh, never, you know, feel shy to ask me to, Eat certain foods. I, I love doing it what you guys request. Anyway. Okay. Piatos. Cheese flavored potato chips. This is how the pack looks. Also by Jack and Jill. Another, these are also very thin and light looking. Wow, very rich cheddar. I like these more. And these aren't corn, they're chip, they're potato chip based. So they they taste lighter, not as you know oily as the corn. Very, very good. Mmm. So far, these are my favorite chips. And the vinegar are my favorite cracklings. Mmm. Real good. I like these a lot. So anyway, I ordered this from Amazon. Amazon has like Pinoy snack boxes. So I ordered two boxes. And so far I'm very pleased. And I must say the way they arrived, very professional, good packaging. 
I definitely recommend ordering from Amazon. Wow, these are, look at these. Ricci by Nutra Snack. It's a crunchy snack, milk flavored. Okay, that, that's very uncommon here in America. We don't have any like milk flavored chips. The only milk you can eat. Imagine your milk as crunchy as a crunchy snack and voila, you have Ricci crunchy snack. It's the crunchy milk you'll enjoy eating with almost the same goodness of your everyday milk, only more delicious. No MSG. Ah, <laughs> that's so cool. Look, we got a little bodybuilder cow over there, you know, getting its dose of protein. We got their little, you know, um, pint of milk. That's how the back looks. Let's get right into it. See what the Ricci is about. I must say, opening these are heavy duty, which is a good thing because you know they're gonna stay fresh. So, oh, wow. Has like a vanilla smell. Check that out. Oh yeah, it smells like vanilla. These remind me of like those Japanese crisps, the way they look. Like when you get like the sweet wasabi peas, like it's a little mix of like crackers and wasabi peas. This is the shape at least. Mm. Wow, that's different. Mm. It's like cheese curds, but very sweet. Not salty and cheesy, but sweet. This is like a dessert. Mmm, very good. Bomb, actually. I think this is my favorite from everything because it's so different and sweet. Wow. Richie, so good. From a 1 to a 10, I give these a 10. Really, really delicious. Mmm. Different cate category altogether because it's sweet, so it's nothing like a chip. What a pleasant surprise. I love this one. All right, I'm gonna take a sip just to cleanse my palate and we're gonna keep going. All right, what else do we have here? All right, we have another potato chips. Spicy barbecue flavor made from 100% real potatoes. Okay, potato, another Jack and Jill brand. Potato chips, V-Cup. Guys, is Jack and Jill like a huge brand in the Philippines? So far, that's what it seems like. Are there any larger snack brands? Let me know down below that's how it looks. Wow, so different than American barbecue. This spicy barbecue flavor tastes like no chips in America. No barbecue flavor tastes like this. Let me explain it. So different. In America, the barbecue Tastes like barbecue sauce, okay? So barbecue chips are very similar to barbecue, like has that savory and sweet together. And when it says spicy in America, it's very spicy. This is barely spicy at all. It's the slightest hint of spice. And the barbecue is also very neutral barbecue. There's a slight hint. If you had these poured out into a, like a bowl and somebody had them here in America, 
they wouldn't be like, oh, these are spicy barbecue. No, nope. they'd be like, oh, well, what are these? These are definitely taste very different. I'm not a huge fan of these, if I'm going to be honest. Just because they don't have like a strong, solid flavor. It's like a mystery flavor almost. And they do taste oily. So not a huge fan of these V-Cut. All right, moving along. What else do we... All right, so now I'm going to try the Prawn Crackers. Spicy flavor, again by Oishi. Check this out. So usually the... Uh, chips that are most similar to this are usually found in Asian supermarkets. We do have these in America, but they're not popular. You don't find these type of flavors in like gas stations and, and big supermarkets. These are considered very exotic. So, especially, you know, like all different fish flavor for potato chips, very exotic here in America. I, however, do eat them. I actually like them. I don't eat them often, every once in a while, but they're different and uh, it's pretty cool. So let's check this out. Prawn crackers, spicy flavor. Display and store in cool, dry place. Consume it immediately after opening, okay? Product of the Philippines. All right. And they have the little peppers for the spiciness. You see the little peppers? And the prawn. All right. And also the packaging here is more heavy duty. In America, it's like this. The packaging is lighter. You could open them very easy. A child could open these. You see how hard I'm having a hard time. And I like this better. Just because it's, it's going to be fresher, I feel like. Ooh, these smell super fishy. Ooh, so these would not be popular here. America, us Americans aren't used to smells like this. This literally smells like a fish store, okay? Look at that. Wow, that's strong. Literally like a, the be, like this smells like my dad's tackle box after he comes back from fishing. Super strong. You definitely have to be brave to eat this. If you're not familiar with these type of foods. Okay, they look like little crinkle cut french fries. Mm. Now they definitely taste better than they smell. They would literally fish like, they smell like, you know, bait. Like fish bait. So intense. But they taste spicy. And the flavor is not as strong as the smell. It's just like a slight fishy hint. They actually do taste like spicy shrimp. Like prawns. Very good. But these are also weird because... Imagine eating this like you're going to smell like a fish. <laughs> imagine being like on a date or... It being in the movies and whispering to like your significant other, you're going to smell like a fish. So that's pretty intense. It's, it's good though. You know, it's definitely different, but very, very fishy. From a 1 to a 10, I give this a 5. Wow, so much more. I'm going to save kind of more of the sweeter stuff for last. Alright, so now we're going to try the Ding Dongs. All right. In America, ding dong is, you know, like ringing a, a bell. Ding dong. I don't know what you guys refer to as uh, ding dong in the Philippines. Okay. Snack mix with fava beans and cracker nuts. Ooh, fava beans. Oh, and they have like one of the, is that a Smurf? Like a bootleg Smurf? Little elf. Elf Smurf. That's what it is. Looks like a green Smurf to me, but ding dong. Okay. By um, Rabisco. Garlic flavor. All right, it says tear here, like one of these side tear thingies. 
but I'm actually gonna, and I smell peas. There's definitely, it says fava beans, so yeah. Fava beans and cracker nuts. Okay, so it has corn, some kind of nuts, and peas. Check it out, wow. Definitely different. I'm gonna pour some in my hand so you guys actually get a whole, uh, making a mess here, but I want you guys to see everything. Okay, that's the garlic flavor. Mmm. I taste the peanuts. I taste the peas. And the most crunch is from the corn, the roasted corn. And it, of course it has a strong salty garlic flavor. This I could see you eating with beer. It's just a snack. Very, very greasy. Very greasy. Um, it's good, but I'm not a huge fan of it. Okay. This is called Boy Bawang Chicha Corn Garlic Flavor with Real Garlic Chips. Now tastier and crunchier. All right, this is um, by Pinoy. Thumbs up. That's a little logo. Check it out up closely, the little garlic mascot with the thumbs up. Okay, so this is legit Pinoy. KSK is the brand. Oops. Okay, so these definitely look different. Check that out. Wow, what is this? Look at that. Tastier and crunchier. What is that? They call them garlic chips. They taste like corn. Mm. Yeah, these are corn kernels, but they're like covered in some kind of, I don't know what they're covered. They're just pop corn chips. In America, we have something similar called corn nuts, but we have them with more familiar flavors like ranch, which is good, nacho cheese, which is good. Then they have just a plain one that's like salty. They're all good, but they look more like actual corn kernels. These, they look like they're halfway popped already. Texture is very good and they're light for corn kernels. Mm. Here goes another one. Boy Bawang Cornic Hot Garlic Flavor. Okay. Export quality. So the quality is good enough for everybody else. Now tastier and crunchier. All right. Let's see about this one. Basically the same thing, just a spicy version. Now, guys, let me remind you, I'm gonna finish everything. I'm gonna go downstairs, put it in a bowl, cover the bowl, and just return to it and have it with beer. Ooh, these look darker. You see that? Mm, wow. They're not even that spicy. But they taste more like roasted. Mmm. Wow. And see, these look more like corn chips. Like the ones in America look like this. They're just big old pieces of corn. This is what we're mostly familiar with. And I like this flavor a lot. This flavor is not very spicy. It's very slight spice. And tastes more like roasted. Very good. This is my favorite one. Out of all the corn chips or all the corn products, this one. 
The hot garlic flavor looks second handful, so you know I like it. Mmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Another one. Garlic. Did I have this one? Oh yeah. I already had this one. I just had the ding dong. This is the boy one. I'm gonna compare them. Oh, the difference is this one has the peas and the nuts, and this one is just the corn. We're gonna have this one too. Guys, stick around. I have desserts coming up. Sweet foods. All right. This is the plain garlic. <coughs> they look <clears throat> just like the previous ones. Just roasted. You see that? These are almost like neutral, like they taste very similar to these but without the spice. And you could barely taste the garlic. I almost don't taste any garlic at all. So these are just like, in America these are very comparable to the corn nuts, the original flavor. Very, very similar. We have a product just like this. Another ding dong. Is this the same one? No. One is yellow and one is orange. This is the garlic and this is the plain one, I guess. All right, I'm gonna compare them back to back. I mean, if I'm gonna try them all, I'm gonna try them the right way. So we're gonna do a back to back comparison. And right away you get that strong peanut smell. So they're definitely the ding dongs are definitely different than the boys. The boys, just corn. This is a little bit of this and that. See, once again, refresher. So you see the peas, you see the peanuts, and you see the corn. All right, original flavor. Mmm. See the peanuts? They're like coated. It doesn't say what they're coated in. Now I'm going to compare these to the garlic ding dongs. Okay, garlic ding dongs. Mm. Yeah, they definitely taste more garlicky, but for some reason, I like these more. The garlic you ones make it taste more savory. These are kind of like, I don't know. These are more like peanut buttery, okay? Because when you start munching on the peanuts from here, they mix with everything else. And they taste similar to the peanut butter. With the garlic being infused in those, it tastes nothing like peanut butter. So I like these more. All right, barbecue cracker nuts. They're coated peanuts. Nagaraya brand. Okay. N Nagaraya cracker nuts, barbecue flavor, has got the smoky, savory taste you love outdoors and indoors. All packed and ready to crunch for snacks or parties. All right, yeah, these are just like stuff that you'd put in a bowl and people at a party reach in and drink with beer. Guys, what's the name of Filipino beer that you would have with this? Let me do know down below. I'm gonna try to find it and give it a taste. Oh, wow, look how big these are. All right, these are huge. Mm, cracker nuts. Mm. You hear that crunch? So far, these are like the crunchiest ones. Oh, okay, so these are peanuts covered in whole wheat flour with barbecue seasoning. I'm not a huge fan of these. 
they have this taste of almost nothing. Like you taste the potato and the whole wheat flour, just it tastes like plain flour, like dough. So dough and peanuts together. The crunch is good and the texture is perfect. So it's a good sensation, but the flavor just, just like you're eating peanuts. I don't know, it's nothing crazy. It doesn't blow me away. So, we're gonna go to the sweet ones. Right now, we're gonna review everything real quick. These are my favorite cracklings, the vinegar. So good. Very strong vinegar taste. And here in America, vinegar chips are popular. Same as the vinegar pork, pork skins. But these are definitely different from what we're used to, okay? Because these are like crackers. And my favorite out of all of them, I don't know, maybe it's because it's sweet, maybe it's because it's something I never had. These, the Ricci's, okay, milk flavor. So bomb. Mm. Tastes like warm milk, so good. Like sweet, in the best way possible, okay. I co-signed these so far. This is my favorite thing that I've tried. All right. Let me take a sip of water to clear my palate. All right. So let's try this. The Choco Nut. King Choco Nut. Peanut milk chocolate. Product of the Philippines. Annie's Sweet Manufacturing and Packaging Corporation. Ingredients, roasted peanuts, sugar, milk powder, cacao powder, and vanilla. Contains food allergens, peanuts and milk. Well, I'm, I just gotta say, I'm lucky that I'm allergic to nothing. FYI. I'm definitely lucky. Imagine being allergic to peanuts or milk. You're missing out on so much. Some I've heard stories that people are allergic to like shellfish, for instance. And I've been told like that somebody knows a friend who they went to a house party and they were cooking. They were frying shrimp on the frying pan in the other room. And just the smell, okay, of the shrimp, the person's throat was closing up, their face swelled up and they couldn't breathe. They literally had to call an ambulance. They had to leave the house and call the ambience outside because the man couldn't breathe. That's how bad. I'm lucky, knock on wood, that I don't have any allergens. All right, let's check this out. It's very dense and heavy. 24 pieces apparently in here. Another hard one to open. I love how Filipinos do the packaging super intense, wow. Usually here stuff is like really easy to open. Oh, check these out. Little cute little, little chocolates. All right, look how they look. Wow. Packaging is definitely, looks iconic. Are these like iconic chocolates in the Philippines? Guys, let me know down below if these are new or have these been around forever? Like, do you guys know it from your childhood? All right, let's see. Okay. This one's cracked. Is that is that how it's supposed to look? Okay. Mmm. Mmm. I know what this is. This is literally peanut butter powder, like PB2, what we have here, mixed together with sugar and cocoa powder and then compressed, okay? This is delicious. There's other cultures that have similar kind of like compressed peanut powder and, and cocoa powder. In Brazil, I know they have stuff like that. And also in Mexico too. In Mexico, I forget, it's like a, they make it like a circular disc shape 
that's compressed. It looks like a big coin and it has a picture of a rose on it. I don't know what it's called. If you guys know what it's called, remind me, please. Tell, tell me down below. Mmm, very good. Very sweet. Delicious. Like super sweet. Wow, very good. I like this. Now I can see this is a messy candy. Like you got to open it like this and directly put it into your mouth. You can't really pick it up because it's going to fall apart. I feel like, well, let's see if this one falls apart. And I guess not. Oh yeah, see, they do fall apart. Real good. I could eat the whole, literally I could eat all of these. <clears throat> I'm not even exaggerating. I know I can. They go down so easy and quick. And you know, they'll literally melt in your mouth. You could eat these and have just no teeth because they melt so quick. Mm. Very, very good. So far, first place, second place, or maybe this is first place, and so is this. This is a tie. That's how good these are. Wow. That's the vanilla. It's more like mellow. It's crispy. And this is very light on the chocolate. It's not like super like chocolatey. It's like very mellow, like milk chocolate. Okay, but it's just maybe the flavor of it is maybe like 50% chocolate and 50% peanut butter. And the peanut butter is also light. And then, and then a whole lot of sugar. Mmm, this is my favorite. Mmm, so good guys, so good. I love it. All right, let's keep going. Now, I'm gonna try some of this. Some of this ube cake. So, okay, so this is called pandan cake. Luscious pandan flavor, wrapped in a light, delectable sponge cake. Pandan cake, egg, sugar, wheat flour, vegetable shortening, etc., etc. Proudly Pinoy. All right, I have no clue what pandan is. Pandan flavor. You guys, let me know what that is. I'll tell you what it tastes like to me. Look at this. Look at this little baby loaf, huh? Look at that. Very delicate. I'm gonna just jump and bite right into it. I thought it's gonna be very green. It's, it's light, light in color. See how it looks in the picture and see how light it is? To me, well, first of all, Filipino cakes are known not to be very sweet, and this is not sweet at all. It's like very lacking sweetness, totally, you know? It's somewhat sweet, but not intense at all. It's so light. Mm. I could see you eating this with like dairy products, like a, like a halo halo and this probably go good, or... I don't know, just some kind of milk tea, just, just milk alone, this would be delicious. But I don't get any strong flavors. Like I said, it's just very slightly sweetened and it could be anything. It's like a sponge cake, really. It's a dry sponge cake. See how dry it is? There's like no moisture. Mm, I'm not crazy about this. Let's try the strawberry cake. Luscious strawberry flavor wrapped in a light delectable sponge cake. So yeah, these are basically sponge cakes. We have these in America, but ours is a lot sweeter. And for us, most of the time they have more moisture. Strong strawberry smell, like almost like Nesquik, like strawberry milk. 
smells like strawberry milk. Okay, like that synthetic strawberry flavor. A little more pink. Not sweet at all. It almost smells stronger than it tasted. It tastes very mellow. Like if it's a hundred percent sponge cake, the strawberry is like two percent. It's just a hint of strawberry, barely sweet. It's good because you could eat a lot of this. It's not overwhelming, especially like with cold milk. That's how I would eat it. How is this usually eaten? You guys, let me know down below. I have ube. <clears throat> and mocha. I'm going to do the mocha first because I've had ube before and it's delicious. I had it in a red ribbon. If you guys want to see my the first time I try red ribbon, I have an entire video. Go check it out in my video list. Okay, so this is the mocha. Just mocha flavor wrapped in a light delectable sponge. Looks a little more brown. Just smells like coca cacao powder. A very slight mocha taste. Not sweet, not intense. Very mellow. Delicious though. But it says mocha. You could say this is like chocolate. It tastes like if you mixed a little bit of chocolate with a lot of bit of vanilla. So it's more like a very, very subdued chocolate flavor. Even though it's mocha, it reminds me of chocolate. So far, this is my favorite one. And I don't like chocolate, but this is just right. Mmm, very good. You drink some water. And these, you definitely need to drink something alongside them. They're so dry. These are... We're not used to eating dry pastries like this in America. Usually our pastries, we're expecting them to be moist, okay? Like oily and moist. So it's very different from what we're used to. It's good, but very different. Mm. All right, ube cake. Now I just recently, Learned about Ube when I went to Red Ribbon because they have a lot of Ube products and basically a purple yam. So, here we go, Ube. Now, you couldn't tell it's Ube from the outside. It smells very similar to the last one. It has a cocoa smell. Let me break this one. It's dark, dark purple. Wow, this is my favorite one. And this one also doesn't taste strong, just like all of them. They're very light in flavor. Look how dry they are, almost like a sponge. Okay, so like I said, you definitely need to have them alongside with some kind of beverage. You know, even halo halo or, or milk, cold milk. That's how I would eat this. Now, does it taste like ube? I, I couldn't tell you what it tasted. It has definitely very uh, strong chocolatey taste from, I guess, the outside part. But yeah, this one's my favorite. This one and the mocha are tied. They're both pretty decent. All right, guys. Let's try some of these weird crackers. These, I know they have so many flavors of these, okay? These are called MY Sand Sky Flakes Cracker Sandwich. Sweet milk flavor, which is condes condensada. Condensed milk. That's what that, I bet you that's what condensada means. It sounds like it would. Okay, the cracker is out of wheat flour. And then the cream filling, sugar, vegetable shortening, whey powder. That's awesome. <coughs> you hear that cough? That's from 
from these little cakes because they're so dry when you're chewing on them and you're inhaling, you get little, these dry particles get inhaled. Okay guys, we're gonna try these Sky Flakes. I have three different flavors, but I know they have a lot more. And these are packs of 10. Let's check it out. 150 calories per one of these. Pretty straightforward, that's how it looks. <clears throat> okay, these look like just regular crackers. Oh, and it's a triple decker. Look at that, like a Big Mac. One, two, three, and it's all together, okay? That's cool. You, you usually don't see that something like this where it comes packaged as three. They don't have that here in America. In America, it's, uh, it's two. It's a top and a bottom. So this is like the Big Mac of crackers. Little cross section. I'm gonna break it in half, maybe show you guys. It looks the same. Wow. It does taste like condensed milk cream in the inside. And the outside <clears throat> is a regular cracker. Like the same kind of crackers that we have here that you get when you eat soup, when they give you like a pack of or two packs of free crackers when you get chicken noodle soup. That's the kind of crackers we have. This exact same flavor with a cream filling. So it's definitely different because the outside is very soft and uh, I'm, I'm sorry, the outside is very salty. That's the word I was looking for. Salty cracker and the inside is sweet. So this is not like a dessert really. You know, it doesn't have, it's, it's savory. It's savory and sweet together. So it's, I would say this is exotic in my book. It's super cool, it's different. Mm. Very good. The best way I could describe this for people that aren't from the Philippines or for people who haven't tried this. It tastes like if you took the inner part of an Oreo, threw out both of the, you know, the, the actual chocolate cookie and used two crackers, two saltines, and put that filling, the Oreo filling between two saltines. That's what this tastes like. If I order the closest to that. Mmm. Another one, sweet butter, all right? Look, these are, where are these made? Uh, okay, same thing, ingredients, wheat flour, that's for the cracker and the cream filling, sugar, vegetable shortening, whey powder again, and just different flavoring and different food coloring. Um, it does say, Distributed by Golden Fortune for New Jersey, New York, and the USA market. Okay. It's best if used by October 5th, 2023. Today is October 5th, 2023. <laughs> Would you look at that? Just in time. It was meant to be, guys. It was meant to be. That's awesome. That's a good feeling knowing it was meant to be. A sweet butter flavor. Guys, tell me how this is usually eaten. Is it eaten plain straight up or is it enjoyed like with tea for instance or coffee or is it eaten any time of day or is this something that's, you know, enjoyed at night like a nightcap snack? Let me know down below. Looks exactly the same. 
Wow, even the color looks, it looks white. It's just slightly more yellow maybe, a little bit. No, look, it looks, I was expecting it to be yellow. May, oh, it's like 1% more yellow. But on the packet, it looks like super yellow, like cheddar cheese almost. So, it does kind of have like a cheddar -y smell, but also the triple decker. Okay. Guys, to me, this is the exact same product. However, here's the kicker. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but you see the little granules on top. I don't know if you could, if the camera picks it up, it's hard for me to tell, but there should be little glistening granules. They're not salt. These are sugar. That's why it's called sweet butter. And these, the other ones, where are, where'd they go? Oh man, I have so much stuff out here. I lost them already. Would you believe that? Oh, right in front of my, the condensed milk. These are the regular salty crackers and these are sweet crackers, but I feel like the inside is the same. I could be wrong, but that's my guess. You guys tell me if I'm right or not. You guys that have eaten this before, but that's literally salty granules on top of crackers. And I must say they're both different. Even though they look exactly the same, that changes everything. Now this actually tastes like a dessert. Okay, just that little difference makes it completely different. The salty one is more savory. It's more like a cracker. This is like a sweet dessert, even though the ingredients are almost identical. That's mind blowing. I like the sweet butter better. Mm. All right, now we're gonna do this one. This one is chocolate fr flavor. It's chocolate, okay? I would assume that's how you say chocolate in Tagalog. Chocolate, you see that? All right, let's get right into it. Chocolate smell, cacao or cocoa. Oh yeah, chocolatey. That's what it looks like. Wow. That same deal. Now you can see the chocolate coloring in there. You see that? All right, going in. I don't see anything on top. Okay. And now the difference between those two, not only is this one has chocolate filling, neither salt nor sugar on the outside, just plain cracker. So this also tastes like very much of a dessert. I like the sweet butter one better. I've never been a huge fan of chocolate. You guys that watch my channel know that. And it just tastes very chocolatey like cocoa. Mm -mm. Out of all of them, this is the one that's my favorite, the sweet butter. All right guys, I have two more products. You guys ever seen this? Oishi pillows, ube filled crackers. And I know I have another one here somewhere. Boom! Choco filled crackers, all right? Now I'm gonna try the chocolate ones first because I have a strong feeling that I'm gonna like the ube more. I wanna finish on a high note. All right, so we don't have anything like this in America. These like chocolate covered pillows. When I first saw this, it reminded me of a cereal that we ha have. It's called Crave cereal. 
So I wonder if you could eat this with milk in a bowl or if that's overkill. How do you guys eat this? Do you just snack on it? Because it looks like cereal, I must say. All right. Oishi. It says, oh, wow. Oishi pillows. Chocolate filled crackers. By Ly Yay Marketing Corporation. Product of the Philippines. All right. This is how it looks. Up close. What's the back? It's a nice eye grabbing, high quality packaging. Look, they even have a little character. You see that? I think he's showing you to make sure you use a receptacle to throw out your garbage. So keep it clean. And let's do it. Oh yeah, high end packaging over here, resealable. I always like resealable things because you don't have to eat everything at once and it stays fresh. Of course, I'm having difficulty opening because I'm on camera. Mm. Smells like cocoa, but very light. That's how it looks like. Oh, very delicate. Feels very light, very airy, a little pillow, legit pillow. I can see why they're called pillows. Wow, very crunchy. I didn't expect them to be this crunchy. Mm. Wow, these are like our, we have a cereal that's very similar. It's called Crave. This would be good in a bowl of cereal. Guys, I'm gonna try this in a bowl whip milk and i'll let you know i might even make a video about it because i know they have a lot of flavors i'll get a lot of flavors because there are other foods that i tried that are pinoy foods that i have like an idea of different ways to eat them that aren't that's probably hasn't been done or just isn't like your typical filipino way of eating it i'm gonna make a video about that eat it my way remixed and have you guys tell me what you think so yeah, I would have this with milk, like cereal. Who knows, it might not work, but I, I will definitely give it a try. Look, I got one that's doubled up. And the big theme and takeaway that I'm getting here is Pinoy sweets are not as sweet as American snacks. American snacks are very much filled with sugar, super intense sweetness. These are very light. Mm. and the chocolate flavor is not super intense to my pleasure wow very very good delicious pillows all right guys last one you guys have been watching and been hanging out for this long i appreciate you because this is probably my longest video yet you guys waited this long let me know down below i appreciate you from the bottom of my heart all right now these smell a lot better these smell so good these smell like taro like the bubble tea taro like vanilla just very hearty very delicious smelling the packaging also beautiful very eye grabbing, high quality. Okay, ube filled crackers. <clears throat> wow, I was right. These are the these are my favorite. Way better than these, in my opinion. Mmm, so so good. Honestly, these are probably one of my favorite snacks from everything I tried. From a 1 to a 10, these are a 10. Mm. All right, guys. Now, let me tell you my top three favorite snacks that I tried. Guys, 
my number three. Would you guess what it is? Boom. I absolutely love these Ricci's. Never had I had something similar to this. This is very different and very delicious. Very pleasant, sweet, light. Mmm. Phenomenal. I'll give this a number. This is my third favorite. If I was going to recommend any of these foods to, to somebody that didn't have anything like this, you heard it here for us, reaching. Absolutely delicious. All right, in second place, the Choco Nut, okay? These are delicious. I absolutely love these. I could eat the whole pack of 24 pieces, no problem. These go down so light, I would literally be eating these one after the other. You can't just have one, these are delicious. And I could be wrong, but my gut feeling tells me that these are very classic Filipino chocolates. Let me know down below, guys, if these are classics or these are new. For some reason, the, the, the way the packaging is looks very old school to me in a good way. Just very appealing to me. It tastes phenomenal. Guys, and the number one, in my opinion... Absolutely phenomenal. Good old Ube. You know, thanks to my uh, Pinoy subscribers for putting me on to Ube. I didn't know about Ube flavor, you know, until I went to Red Ribbon. And now these are my favorite snacks that I tried from the Philippines. By far. They're, they're just phenomenal. Like I said, I'm going to try these with milk. So I'm going to try something weird. And I bet it's gonna taste good. Mmm. Love this. Guys, thank you so much for just tuning in, staying this long, you know, enjoying these foods with me. Greatly appreciate it. Please let me know down below if there's any other snacks that I missed that you would like to try, that would like for me to try and make another video. Uh, please tell me if I ate it right, if there's, you know, different ways of consuming this food meaning like paired with with certain drinks etc um guys from the bottom of my heart thank you so much please like share and subscribe till next time signing off